Hey y'all, it's Alicia and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop and happy Thursday to you all. Happy Thursday. It's another day, something to be grateful for in these times, that's for sure. So I'm coming on here this morning. I have some really great shout outs. I have, I uh, want to draw your attention to a contest, uh, two contests actually that are open right now and challenges that I'm hoping you'll support. But before I do that, I need to ask y'all a favor. You know that uh, here in New York, they've mandated in three days from now that everyone wear a mask. Well, you know, I had sent off Lanny's happy mail. What was it yesterday or the day before? And I wish I thought to ask her this question before I put it into the mail. But you know, that announcement came, I think after, but I, regardless, I wish I thought to ask. Anyway, uh, I got her happy mail off and then I asked her, Lanny, do you have any masks? Because now we're mandated to wear a mask, not gloves. And the reason they're not mandating gloves is we can't get them. Like it's impossible. Uh, you can't even get extra dishwashing gloves because people have gotten so desperate they're wearing those outside and just washing them carefully, which I'm not sure is really okay based on what I've read. So they can't mandate gloves, but they have mandated mask wearing. Well, then I realized like, Lanny, do you have masks? Folks, she's got five people at home. Now, right now she's trying to be the one going outside so that only one person is exposed. But Lanny only has a single mask. And you can reuse N95s, but according to what I've read, you need to treat them. They need to air. There's like a way for them to be reusable. You should replace their filter. She doesn't have any of that. And my doctor specialist office is telling me that really you need both. You need like the N95 type and the surgical mask over top that Sabrina made. You should be wearing two layers for protection right now because he's, they're not sure that it's enough. They're really not sure. There was a case, I don't know if you all saw the video on YouTube. I was very impressed that they came on because I'm not sure I would have had the fortitude to do it. I sent the video to my husband. I watched it last night. Not the kind of thing you should watch before bed. But this couple, they have a huge following here. I don't even know what kind of blog they have on YouTube. But uh, they lost their father this week. And he, he passed away within four days of getting the virus. Now, he was hand washing, social distancing, only going to the grocery store and back. He had no severe symptoms. In fact, they called an ambulance when he first got sick, wanting him to be assessed for the virus. And they basically told him, buddy, you know, this is probably just a regular cold. What are you worried about? And he died four days later. So I, you know, folks, we don't know everything. You know, I was feeling more confident yesterday. I was like, well, they haven't changed the rules in a week. Well, I was wrong because they changed them again yesterday. Yesterday evening, after this death of this person, they announced that this virus may, may be able to live on things for seven days. If that's the case, then I've done the mail all wrong, y'all. Because I have followed their three-day rule. And then, so it goes into the bin. I spray it with a little Lysol. I don't have much left. So I have to be, I have to be kind of stingy. And then I leave it for three days. Then I open it. I take everything out very carefully. And I throw away the packaging. Well, I find out yesterday, that's great. I followed that rule. Except now they're saying seven days, maybe nine. And I was like, what? So I don't know, y'all. I just feel like we can all just do our best. But let's get back to Lanny for a second. Sorry, I diverged. So we can't get gloves here in New York, so they can't mandate gloves. But they have mandated a mask. And Lanny only has one. If that elastic breaks, she is in big trouble. Not only that, she needs time for the mask. In order to reuse it, she needs hours. She needs to be able to put it in a Ziploc with a hairdryer for 15 minutes and then to hang it up for like a day. She only has one. She can't do that. And I told y'all, going and taking out your garbage here in Brooklyn is a little life-threatening because we only have three feet of sidewalk and our garbage areas are right there. It's very hard to get your garbage out without coming into two feet worth of contact with someone. So, all right. So, I, you know, my husband's right. Happy Meal is not normally life-saving, but this is because Lenny needs masks. She And she needs several because she has to be able to wash the cloth ones after wearing them to wear over her N95. So I need a favor, y'all. Those of you making masks, Janet K, Deborah's Chillin' Bags, um, Sabrina, Crafty Mom and Son, don't, don't, don't want to strangle me, please. We need to get Lanny and her family some masks. They, they shouldn't even be going down to get the mail without a mask on. That's what they're telling us here. Even just the cloth one would be safer for them if they just have to go downstairs. So I'm going to call on you folks. I'm happy to help cover shipping. I know that not everybody has shipping budget right now. I'm happy to cover that cost. If you have PayPal or Zelly, I'll do that. 
um, we got to get her some masks. I did find out that Alice and Olivia, who is a very high-end designer here in New York City, I will tell you, one of her shirts is $800, okay? And that's not even a one-off. That's just like their rack stuff. Has done something amazing. Since Cuomo did this, they've started producing designer masks and they're selling them only for $10 and $12 and you can pre-order them. And they're like many layers. So I ordered one for Lanny, but it won't come until April 21st. I'm very proud of this fashion company. I may not always love how much they charge for their clothes, y'all, but I gotta tell you something. They're one of the few companies doing this and offering it to New Yorkers. Like to get a designer mask for $10, as y'all know, is like nothing. So um, I did order her one, but it won't come in time. Plus she's gonna need more than one. So those of you sewing, can you, we gotta get Lenny and her family. We need at least five, at least, if not more, because figure this out. If they each have one in their family, that's five. Lanny's the one going outside the most. She's going to need three at least because she's got to wash them every time she uses it. So we need at least eight masks to them at least. So, and that's in addition to the one I sent. So that's number one. Um, so Colin, all sewers, we need some masks for Lanny. And if you reach out to me, I'll give you her address and I'm happy to cover the cost of a priority shipping. I really am. Especially if you can uh, click and ship in your area, that's amazing. Or you can safely go to your post office. That would be really helpful. Um, I'm telling y'all, my post office is safer than my pharmacy. And I, you know, I told my husband, it truly is. And so if I have to go out again, um, then I can ship. It was my argument because clearly my pharmacy doesn't care half as much as my post office does here. All right. The other thing I'm going to ask of you is they, they're not mandating gloves because we can't get them here. I checked online and the earliest shipment we can get for any kind of like plastic or nitrile glove is June 5th. That's the earliest, whether it's Amazon, Ali, it doesn't matter where I looked, that is the earliest. If any of you have access to, whether it doesn't matter, unless, unless Lanny has a latex allergy, I don't know if she does, my mom does. Um, but if Lanny doesn't have a latex allergy, if any of you can just grab, I know even half the dollar stores have plastic gloves available for like a buck, 10 in a pack. If you could get those off to her too, I'd really appreciate it. It may not be mandatory here because you can't get them, but it certainly is important. It's like one of the things they're telling you that's really important because this virus can live on surfaces. Wearing gloves is like maybe more as important as the mask. So again, happy to help cover shipping. I just don't have them in my area to send to her and I don't have enough. Like my husband's tr just shipped me a box from the Middle East. And it's going to take like two and a half weeks to get here. Um, I don't have them either. And our building doesn't have them either. I'm very grateful to Sabrina Crafty Mom and Son because she sent me some. And it's thanks to her I have them for when I have to go to the pharmacy. Um, and I did order a box when this first started, but they're almost gone, y'all. So this is how it is. I do want to do a, like a health reminder to everybody that, you know, it may be this bad in New York, but it wouldn't hurt you all to prep now just in case. I know that seems very like, I am so not the build a bunker and fill it with canned goods kind of girl. I'm just not. But I got to tell you this. Look, now Lani and I are in a situation where the things that you need in order to protect your life are not available. If it had not been for Sabrina Crafty Mom and Son, I do not know what would have happened to me. And I sure don't want that happening to Lani. I don't want that for any of you. So because the earliest shipments from Ali or from Amazon are between the third week of May until June, Folks, get your hands on what you can now, just in case. You know, especially those of you that can still go to a dollar store and can pick them up at a reasonable price, I suggest you do so. Just because we're going to find ourselves, I think, in a situation across the country where you're going to have the same kind of shortage as we are, and you're going to be without gloves and masks. And they are suggesting here that you buy the replacement filters for the N95s. Well, you can get a box of 100 for like $30 from Ali but they won't get here. The earliest they'll get here, the very earliest they'll get here is May 25th. So just a heads up to y'all. I'm not being alarmist. I'm trying to give you some advice based on what we've experienced here. And I, I feel like if we share information, then we're all safer. You know, we're all much safer. All right, now let's get on to the good crafty stuff. Um, the first thing I want to tell you is, uh, Purposely Crafting with the Divine Intervention, who you all, I introduced you to. She sent in that beautiful ATC and that lovely note 
that lovely note uh, for my challenge and how much she really loves this community and wants to be a more active member. Well, she's having her 100 subby giveaway. Folks, she's almost there. And I think we can get her there. I don't think it's going to take much. So I'm going to put her link down below. What I'd like you to do is go and subscribe, first of all. Let's help get her to 100. We can do that. And in these times, you know, that's a small thing we can do to make someone's day a whole lot better. Plus, it's nice to meet new crafters. And if you remember, her ATC was stunning. So I took a look at her little spring project today because she's entering another challenge. Um, and her entry was so great and it was so spring-like with these beautiful, I don't want to, no spoiler alert, but y'all want to check out that entry too while you're looking at our channel because it was beautiful and the layering was gorgeous on the Memdex. Really beautiful layering. So again, that's purposely crafting the divine intervention. I'm going to put her channel below. She has a current challenge on. Uh, she's trying to reach 100 subscribers and I know we can get her there. Just pop on over and subscribe, first of all. And then those of you who are mailing out in envelopes, why not participate and support her challenge? Um, the next alert for a challenge is Butterfly Ferris, who is not so new here anymore, um, but she has extended her challenge, which is great because of what's going on. She realizes that a lot of people are can't mail out or the mail's just not arriving. So she's extended it indefinitely right now, which is wonderful. So I want to encourage you to support her as well, and I'll put a link to her channel down below. I'm sure that both um, Geneva, who is purposely crafting uh, with Divine Intervention, and Butterfly Ferris would be fine if you just had to send in flat mail. They're going to be understanding right now. Just send a memdex, something you could put in an envelope. Everyone understands that it's really hard to send goodies right now that we normally send. Um, it's very hard to send the packages we normally love to make. We just can't because most of us can't get to a post office. But I bet you they'd just appreciate a memdex or an ATC. Uh, you know, just a little something something in the mail. All right, so there. I wanted to draw your attention to that. That was important. You know, I also got drawn to someone else new. Again, I got to tell you, it's always like through other crafters that I learn about other crafters. So through Kathy, my friend Kathy Catskill Create, and through Miss Ebony, I have learned about Lady Cree. Do you all know who she is? Well, she got inspired by Miss Ebony. You know, Miss Ebony makes beautiful crafts. And if you like clean crafting, you're going to like Lady Cree because her stuff is very clean and elegant. Well, she sent in a lovely entry to Kathy's challenge, and then I fell down a rabbit hole and I went and looked at all of her little projects. And I gotta tell you, she made these spring embellishments inspired by Ebony, uh, sharing more, and they were so pretty. And they're simple, but they're elegant. So I'm putting a link down to her channel too, because I think y'all gotta go check it out. Again, it's Lady Cree. Her embellishments were these little fences with flowers. Oh my goodness so spring-like and don't we all need a little of that right about now with this whole virus thing i know i sure did the reason i like geneva's uh entry so much purposely crafting with divine interventions beautiful spring bloom layered piece was it was so springy and so uplifting and so lady crease is like that too so i'm gonna put a link to that too you gotta go check that out too um, Miss Susan Tutsi Tucker is blessing a whole bunch of us in our mailboxes. I have both a card from her in my disinfecting box and a big old box, which I cannot wait to open. But I gotta tell you something, you know, and I've said this before, I have been so fortunate on here to meet so many people that were clearly destined to be artistic, like their whole lives. You know, I teach this at college and I see students every day make it an effort um, to become great designers and artists. My goodness, uh, Tootsie Tucker is by, by all means both a crafter and a naturally gifted artist. She just is. She was born to make things. Did you all see that beautiful wrap she knitted for Sheila's Country Girl First grandbaby? I almost fainted. Wait, you can knit too? Okay, so I always tell you, like, Tootsie's like, which is what I call her in my head. I'm not sure she'd like that though. I have to be honest, Susan, how do you feel about that? I actually call you toots in my head, which is probably not okay, but that's what I call you. Um, I was like, wait a second, you can knit too? Like, whoa. So I asked her today on her channel, I was like, is there any crafting thing you're just not as good at? Like, you know how I'm like charm challenged sometimes? I was like, there's gotta be one thing you can't do because that blanket you made. Oh, folks, I'm putting Sheila's, if you don't know, first of all, we're all so happy Sheila's back. Let me just please strongly encourage you to go and support and love that lady. And I know y'all been sending her happy mail. And I think that's amazing because she needs that. Because we missed her and we almost lost her, y'all. We almost lost her. So we don't want to take her for granted. 
So you probably already are watching her video, but I'm just going to tell you, whoa, you've got to see this thing that's, that Susan Tootsie Tucker knitted for her grandbaby. Oh my goodness. It, it's like a rainbow blanket. Who doesn't want a rainbow blanket? Everyone wants a rainbow blanket. I was like, wow, it's amazing. So I'll put a link to that too. I know a lot of links this morning. Um, I am still battling. You can hear it in my voice. I'm battling something. I don't know what it is. Folks, who the heck knows? I don't know. Um, I have a teaching day today, as you all know, but I'm also going to try to do a little cleanup and a little crafting. Uh, even though it's a teaching day, I'm going to keep it tight because I have been spending a lot of time working and not a lot of time just enjoying. And as I said, today is a blessing. Being alive today is a blessing. A reminder, please, to any of you making masks, to please uh, reach out to me so that we can get Lanny some extra masks. I'm very worried about her family. Again, we need to get a minimum of eight into her hands. A minimum of eight. And uh, anyone who's out and about still and you see any plastic or latex gloves that you can get to her, I'd really appreciate it, y'all. I really would. All right, let's try to keep all of us safe and safe and sound. That's what we've been good at lately. And again, Tootsie's been blessing everybody with all sorts of happy cards and notes. And isn't that just amazing? I have a ton of happy mail in the disinfecting bin. Now, I told you all that she brought me like 20 things that were missing. So I have a ton. I'm going to start doing some today. Uh, I don't know what to do about this new seven to nine day thing. Uh, I don't know. You'll just have to bear with me as I figure this out, folks. And that's my tummy grumbling because it means it's time for my post-medicine breakfast. All right, y'all. Wishing you a happy, healthy, safe, and very creative Thursday. Bye for now.